everyone welcome back i hope you guys are all well it's angela and i'm here today to bring you yet another um christmas little tutorial well it's christmas themed but really you could do this with any theme so i hope that you have all been staying warm if it's winter where you are or cool because it can be really hot in the southern hemisphere i know that um and i thought uh whichever you are if you're still indoors like we are in lockdown i hope that this is going to give you something exciting to try and use in your journals so um, what i've done is i've made a couple of these little well i'm not quite sure what they they should be called because i have used tags and i've made a bit of a journal card so i'm not sure if they should be called jags <laughs> I'll leave that one with you. All right, so what I've done here is, again, I've been working away my scraps um, and I just decided I'm gonna have a day cutting out some die cuts. So I have been cutting out some snowflakes, um, which I have from this little die, because I know someone's gonna ask me and it's not one that I got, um, it's not a Tim Holtz or anything like that. It's just one of these really cheap ones that I got off eBay. Um, for next to nothing and really I like it because if you have a look at it you can see you've got a bigger one a medium one and a smaller one um, so that's what I've been using there and layering up some snowflakes and things to make my jags <laughs> tags into journal cards I'm not sure what to call them really um, so yeah that's what I've been doing messing about with all the bits and pieces that are lying in my trays from projects I've been working on and really you want to make them into something pretty so we can actually use them in journals and things like that okay so if you if I show them to you closely you can see hopefully that's not too close um, you can see I've been layering up the, the snowflakes with various scraps of paper I had put in a little piece of bling um, put in a little sentiment there. I've got some fabric and some lace, more fabric. I've even got wallpaper here and I've backed it onto card. So that's what I've done there. Here you can see um, I've just put a little bit of a um, tab thing. I've got a, a bigger uh, jumbo, um, can't think what it's called now, one of those. <laughs> eyelet um, and then I've just made these little dangles um, on a jump ring over here and this is just some sari ribbon that I've ironed all right so that I quite like that um, oh, and a button that I've sewn on there so I quite like how that's turned out and it's not as flat as normal it's slightly raised so it's got a bit of dimension as well and I think that would look really pretty in a journal and you've got lots of space to write on as well Okay, so there's that one. Then this one, what I did was I took um, one of my tags that I had uh, left over from my um, Snowy Christmas Garden kit from Chapter 1, put on some um, chiffon ribbon there as well, uh, sorry chiffon, um, and done the same process really, but just with other sort of uh, pieces of fabric, I use the same fabric, but I've used other scraps and pieces that I've had here. So here you've got the, uh, the same um, process, but I've just used different bits and pieces. All right, so the last one here is also a tag that I had left over. Um, and I've just cut it. I've used other uh, another kind of fabric. I haven't used wallpaper here. I've just used some um, paper that I had left over. Um, and this is from the My Porch Prints. Um, shabby pink Christmas kit all of these um, this is here and this is here and those bits and pieces so that's what I've used there all right so I like that one with all the pinks and and the golds and the silvers and I thought that looked quite pretty as well okay so you don't have to have wallpaper and all these things just use what you have you don't even have to put fabric it's just because I have it so I thought I'd work with that and I quite like how the bead dangle has sort of just finished it off okay so let's go and see how we do this so it's not difficult at all and I think it turns out and gives us quite a pretty um, outcome so I'm just going to pick these up and put them to the side um, over here and the first thing that you're going to want to do is 
um, is get yourself a tag. So here's another tag that I've I've had, and this is um, from the Shabby Pink Christmas from my porch prints. So I have just taken a piece of paper. I've cut it into a tag shape with my die cut, but you could just do this and cut it out and draw it yourself. It's easily done. Okay, so there's one of those. And then what I did was I wanted to use a piece of fabric. So just trying to grip, grip, get it here. I've got a piece of fabric that looks like that, if you can see that. And um, this is from a company, I think, called Threads White and um, Blue. I will put the link in the description box below. Um, I'm not sure if they still have any, but I bought quite a few fabric bits from them this year and I just love how it's turned out. But any any piece of fabric that you have that's going to go with your tag. All right, so I'll give you some little dimensions quickly. And that's how I've just got like a little border going around uh, that all there. So let me just tell you what that is. Now my tag length is three and three quarters by two inches so that's the tag size in centimeters that would be five centimeters by nine and a half centimeters okay so that's what the tag size is the fabric i have cut at hmm ten and a half centimeters trying not to let the ruler shine in your face uh, and four and a quarter inches that way and this way it is three inches or seven and a half centimeters okay so that's what we're looking at there um so that's just enough to give it a bit of a border like that and then what i did was i took a piece of um wallpaper that i have so this is just what i have because i want to give that a bit of a border as well so we're looking at that sort of look okay and i'll tell you what the the measurements are for this this is 12 centimeters by uh eight and three quarter centimeters or in inches you're looking at just short of three and a half by four and three quarters but of course the sizes are whatever you want to make it to be so um you can go with whatever you have okay so i'm going to uh stick that onto here first of all and i have got i got this from the lovely carol parker thank you carol look i'm using it um so this is one of those sugar bells and i saw these um being used by my lovely american um and canadian ladies but of course um i don't know how carol got hold of this but um I'm go I've been loving it, so it's really been a been great for my um, beacon glue, and of course you get far less, and I'm even able to do little drops of it on here, just so that I can secure it to my fabric. So I must say, um, I do recommend this. It's really great. All right, so we're going to just put a little bit on there. I'm going to get it closer to the top of the tag um sort of like that i'm just lining it up properly how however i want it hopefully it's straightish yeah okay so that's going to be oh, i don't think i put enough on there let's just let's just this piece is a bit loose so we'll just put a bit more on there okay there we go so that's all right. Now, what I'm going to do very quickly um, is just stitch around the edge here, the perimeter quickly on my sewing machine. You don't have to do this. You could just give this a, a much better uh, gluing down. Um, so I'm going to do that ever so quickly. Um, and if you haven't, um, sometimes I here I've got that stitched edge from the die. But of course, where is it? Where is it? This one, you can see I actually stitched around there as well. But you don't have to either. That's a personal choice. All right, so I will see you guys back here just in a minute. Okay, so there we have it. I've got that all just stitched around there like that. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the top there. But obviously that needs to be a little bit more centralized like that. 
Okay, so that's easily done. Just like that. So just using this to stick this on because obviously we've got fabric and we've got paper, so you can't go wrong with a bit of beacon. Okay, so we want to just make sure I get it in the right place. I'm quite happy with that. Great way to get rid of scraps, ladies. Honestly, I, s I spent quite a day, um, I'll show you here, cutting out um, all these snowflakes just um, to use in various things in my journals. And again, um, lots of foliage as well um, to cut out. And I've got loads more. So, you know, it's just nice to get cut out, whether it's the wildflower dyes or um, snowflakes for Christmas or whatever it is that you're using, or even with your punches, if you have got scraps, um, use them in, make them up into something, spend some time just making ruffles or whatever it is so that you can just draw on them as you're using them. Okay, so we've got our little tag ready at this point. Um, what I was doing now was, grabbed a little piece of um, uh, lace and I'm going to stick that down at the bottom there like that um, just before yeah let's do that quickly all right so I'm going to just take some more of this and run it across the bottom here where this is going to go I'm just sort of layering this up nicely so I'm going to do that slightly over a bit like that. Okay, I'll just give this a little bit more of a glue. Okay, liking that. And then I've got a little bit of a fabric ruffle that I've taken with a, a scrap that I just sewed. And again, I'm going to just put some more of that on there like that. Okay, and before I go any further after this ruffle, I want to just gonna cut that off before I press it down, just like that. Okay, oh, cute, up a bit, up a bit. Just wanna see a bit more of the lace. Okay, now before I do that, um, anything further, um, I've just got a piece of card here that I want to back this onto. I want to stick this on and sew around the edges. Um, so I'm going to do that quickly. just want to make sure. Uh, I will be probably trimming off a bit. Um, just to make it, because this is quite thin, um, and with this card, um, it's nice thick 300 gram card stock, so you're looking at making it far more robust. So I'm going to just, I'm not going to go close to the edge because I am going to stitch it. Um, if you are going close to, if you are going to just glue it, which is fine, I did it with my first one, I didn't stitch that one, um, then, you know, that's no problem. But this glue doesn't bode well with my machine, uh, so I am not going to glue right to the edge. It's better with my glue stick <laughs> if I do, but I try not to go close to the edge um if i can help it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go and sew on the border there um onto the back of that card stock and i'll see you back here just in a minute okay so we have now just sewn around the edge there you can see um and i have just distressed the edges so we're all ready to carry on all right, so um, what I thought I'd do here is something a bit different. I've got a couple of these little tags that were part of the Christmas kit, um, Christmas tags uh, for my porch print. She does these, um, Stephanie does these beautiful little tags. And I thought I would just try and um, see how I could use those in this little bit over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them together first. So... Not completely, just a little bit on the side here. Um, I'm going to just get them how I want them first. Then I wanted to really tuck them underneath. Um, I should have done that already. 
So what I'm going to do is instead I'm going to just cut this directly across like that. Um, and then it'll look like I've tucked them in, won't it? All right, so we've got that like that, and I think that'll do the job. So we'll just stick those all down, make a plan as we do. Oh, this tube does work really well. I'm glad, so thrilled I have one. Um, it's so much um, less of a struggle than with just the nozzle that's so much thicker on that other one, on the original bottle it comes in. Right, so we've got our nice Merry Christmas on there. That's looking gorgeous. Um, and now what we're going to do is I cut out some of these in silver from my silver card, um, my glitter card. And um, I'm just going to put on some glue onto here ever so quickly. Um, been watching some lovely videos from people today while I was crafting away. Um, watching how people do wrapping and all sorts of lovely things just with, you know, you know creative calf girl was showing us how to make a, a, a bar of chocolate look fantastic and I just love her wrapping skills. Susie, you did a great job there. Um, I'm not, um, it's not one of my areas that I'm I don't know why it is, if I just don't make time for it or or what, but I could do with learning some new wrapping skills, I think. Um, and you know, it's part of the part of it, isn't it? Right, we're going to stick a little um, a little um, can't think today. <laughs> um, just putting a little. Uh, quote there making spirits bright I quite like that these come from pink um, monarchs um, site and I'll put the link for her um, Christmas words there which I really love I've just put on some dimensional tape just to lift it a little bit so everything's not flat uh, sentiments the word I was looking for gosh tell you old age is kicking in Right, so what I've done here is I've taken the three different um, snowflakes, uh, smaller, medium and large. I've got some old gold paper. I've got a piece of my Porch Prince pink, um, the bit with the um, topography on. And then I've got a light blue glitter one here. And I've just stuck them together and then stitched on a button. Now, all I'm going to do here is... Um, get some glue on this um, and I'm going to stick it just at the bottom here so we don't want it to hang over the edge too much really so I want to just bring it up a bit and I think that's about where I want it so we're just going to press that down like that okay it's coming along really nicely now so you must go and look for all those bits and pieces that you have and I'll show you what I do with some an, another one in a minute okay so there's that now I'm looking for a piece of scrap I'm taking the the monarch prints thing here because I quite like this old gold color um, and this is what I do I've just taken a piece here like that I'm just tearing it with my fingers um, and then straight across like that um, take off a bit from that side as well just to give it a rough sort of shabby look yeah so you've got that and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gauge over this little area it doesn't matter if it's not quite all over the other side so I'm quite happy with that and now I'm going to go like this and yeah, I quite like that. So I'm going to go like this, just turn that over, make my own sort of tab. And it doesn't matter what the back, I'm just going to cut straight across. And now if you want to put on some ink, you can. And then you're going to just open it up and it's going to just give it a little bit more. Um, just pops a little bit, I think. 
just adds a little bit extra then we're going to just slide that down there and cover up that area like that so while that's drying i'm going to just grab the little a little um eyelet all right so i've got my crop of dial here and i think i'm I might put in a pink one in there. And let's just get a another one out for just now. Okay. All right, so we're going to put that in the top there, and hopefully this paper is big enough. Just. All right. So I just want to see now. Right, where I want to get it. And. We're going to go for it there. Now you will go through some fabric, so I've had this with every one of them. Just take that up and cut it off like that. Okay. And then put your eyelet in there. So hopefully that goes in, or maybe I should have used the right size one, would help. There we go, that's better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, there we go, that's better. And then that will go in there nicely now. That's better. Right, and then we can just grip that closed like that. So it's all coming together now. Nice and quick. Right, so now what I've got is I've got some of my sari ribbon and this comes from Mary Maker in Australia and um, I am just loving the quality of this and oh my gosh I went a bit wild um, thanks to the lovely Jodie who told me all about this lovely lady's things and this is just lovely sorry lots of lovelies there too many superlatives right let's just get this through here that's the next um, challenge normally i use my pokey tool but of course it's somewhere on my desk and i don't know where um right so we just get that through there and now um i have ironed this obviously it doesn't come ironed but you want to get that all ironed up so i just ironed a piece of mine here and then you want to just Loving this colour. It's called ballet. Um, Got to have a bit of ballet. Right, look how beautiful these bows come out. Oh my days. Right, so I'm not going to faff too much because you know I'm a faffer. Right, so there we go. It's just going to finish this off beautifully. And I'm using these scissors, which aren't the best, but never mind. Um, we just want to cut that off. Okay, everyone. So there's the, the bow. Now, what I did here was I made um, a little uh, dangle. Um, if you're not sure how to make dangles, I'm not a jewelry maker. Um, I've just made these myself. So just taken some little pearls and little bits and beads that I have and made that there um okay and then what i'm doing is i'm going to just take my tools i've got a gold jump ring here and we're just going to um grip that like that and just open it up like that okay so i've got the jump ring here and i just want to thread it through the loop here Course it's not going to work because I'm trying to film this. There we go. Thank heavens. Right, so we've got that threaded through there. Now what you want to do is just get your little um, dangle on there. And then you want to just pull these two together like that. Okay. Yep. And then I just like to make sure that this is nicely closed. So I just grip it this way. There we go. 
four right and then that will thread through there nicely okay so there's you've got your one done how pretty is that now i'm going to try another one quickly um but some of the steps are done so it's more the decorating that i'm going to show you so i'll just leave that one over there for the moment and then let's just try it with a blue one all right, so here's a blue one. I've got some different fabric here. I've put it onto some wallpaper. I've already stitched the backing on. And here's a blue tag. So we're going to do that. And what I wanted to do here was, I thought, well, I've got lots of scraps of, of paper. So um, I wanted just to do this. And this will be a lot quicker. So let's just have a go at that. Um, so we're going to put a little scrap here. I wanted to bring in a little bit of the pink. Just because there are little bit splashes of pink here and there on this fabric. So I thought I would just bring that in a little bit. So we put that up on there like that. Now what I've done is my porch prints has these shabby little labels. Shabby pink Christmas labels. I've just taken a die and cut this out. It was an oval. Um, and put this behind from one of the pieces of gold paper in the kit like that. And I'm going to just angle that um like that i think um sort of about at that point so i'm going to just stick that down and what i'm trying to say is just go and have a look at stamps that you might have that are christmas stamps go and have a look at any of the images that you might have that you could use um for this sort of purpose this is great to use up scraps and i can't say that enough all right so we're going to stick that over there and then again, I've got a little piece of the lace and I'm going to just stick that um, over there. So that's going to go down like this. If you, you, if you made a whole lot of these bases up, you could roll these out in no time. All right here, I've got a little piece of fabric. I haven't concertinaed this one up and made a ruffle. doesn't matter. You don't have to. I'm trying to give you different options here. So what I'm going to do is I am just want to move this down a little bit. Just take, be mindful of where I want to put the fabric. Um, and I'm going to put a really thin layer here. Because of this fabric being thin, I am quite mindful that it could ooze through. And I don't really want that to happen. Um, so let's just put that on like that. Um, We've got our little word, all is bright, which I've put with the dimensional tape. So that's there. And I'm going to just stick that about there. And then um, the little goodie. Now, I've just received today a Tim Holtz foliage kit, which I'd, I forgot I even ordered when I... But it was coming from... I'm not quite quite far away away so that's why I was looking for something else um, and I'll show it to you if I remember in a minute all right and then all we want to do is stick on our little snowflake -y thing again all right so this one's got a blue button on it and I've layered it with more blue bits so I just don't want the that's better Right, so we'll stick that down just like that. And just make sure that that one is lying nice and flat. And that is as well. There we go. Right, it's looking good. Okay, so that one's really good. Um, and again, we want to just put on the top. So that shows you once you've got them lined up here, how quickly you could go and roll these out. So again, I'm just looking for a bit of this gold. These ticket, these um, Christmas words are just phenomenal. I've used them such a lot. Go and check out um, Anna's site. My um, called. Uh, pink monarch i'll have it in the link below you won't be disappointed i think i've made that one a bit narrow um so she's got beautiful kits as well which i will get into in the new year 
I'm sure because there's some beautiful botanical ones too. Okay, so I'm going to do that, I think, and I'm going to just fold that over a little bit further down like that. And then I can just cut it off at the back. Okay. Once you're on a roll and you've got them and you do all the sewing or all this, the gluing and everything that you want to do, you're going to be um, rolling these off pretty quickly. So, okay, let's put that on. And I think these are really pretty, a nice, um, nice addition to the journal. Okay, this one I've chosen to use here. Um, so I don't have a blue one, so we'll have to. I thought I did have blue ones, but I think we've got enough blue here. So this time I'll use the right side. <laughs> the right side. Let's just take that out. Right. Dog got a fright. <laughs> okay, so we want to get that in there. Like that. There we go. And just cut out any little bits of fabric that might come through. And we can just stick that in there. And of course, um, there we go. Right, so we're nearly done with the blue one. Let's just put this back over here. Right. Um, here's just some of that blue Mary Maker beautiful chiffon. Um, that I've got and I've got some sari as well which I'm sure is going to look phenomenal on my journal so I'm quite excited about that and then again we want to get the jump ring out and my two pairs of pliers and just separate them oops <laughs> separate them like that and then let's try let's try and thread that through and there we have it right so we've made another two here so those are the two that i've made today all right, I, ladies, I hope that you have enjoyed that. It's been fun. You can see I've got loads and loads and loads that I've been doing now. Let's see if I can fit them all on the, on the, um, on the screen. Oh, maybe, nearly. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. All right, so thank you everybody. Um, I do hope that you go and give this a try. Um, it was fun to make. It's a great use to get rid of all your Christmas scraps or any other scraps. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a Christmas theme. You can use any theme at all. Um, but I do think that they make beautiful um, jags, uh, which is tag and journal uh, <laughs> words combined. So I'm making up my own things. Because I used the tags, I just thought it was a nice... Um, uh, combination here and they're going to look so pretty um, and also you can make these into tags as well remember you've got carol's christmas tag swap um, that she's working on so don't forget to go and take part in that if you haven't already um, and i'll see you all in the very next video so thank you so much everyone bye bye